This is Pat Gunn, and I'm showing you a bit of an unusual place that I happen to make it to in, uh, in Skyrim. So, this is actually uh, Skuldafen, or it's the it's a place that you can reach from Skuldafen if you're uh, very fortunate uh, and careful enough to jump your way up the mountain you'll find yourself running out into an endless plain of water that's about, uh, I think, knee-deep. And it really sounds like an awful, like, uh, an, I mentioned when I found a similar place uh, last, uh, or in my previous Let's Plays, uh, I found it in Sovngarde. But this is the first time I've tried this in Skuldafen. I managed to jump up the mountain and eventually, um, make my way over it and down and uh, and into this endless plane of water. Seemingly endless, but it's not actually endless. Um, as you can see, I actually ran all the way from... Where is Skuldafen? Uh, Skuldafen is... I was over here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's over here. So I actually ran all the way from here, jumped down the mountain, and it's just an endless water plain until I reached here. And the reason I did this, actually, is that I was curious, because I saw the, the pointer on my quest marker, whether I would be able to find whether it would generate the dragon in this endless plain or not. Um, and I guess I've run a good ways uh, in that direction so far, and I'm right near where Dragon's Reach is. And I found it interesting. It looks like um, it looks like some of the light, uh, or either these are lights that are intended to be for Dragon's Reach, which seems kind of plausible because Dragon Reach, uh, Dragon's Reach does have this kind of structure, or it's uh, something random, or it's the, a leftover from something that the developers uh, left in. So I'm just gonna keep on running by here and see what happens. The game might crash. And this seems Dragon's Reachy. Like, you, you could uh, easily imagine seeing this kind of content. Uh, just with, uh, with the walk up to the Jarl's Palace over there. And I've been seeing this, this tower for a long time, but I wasn't sure if I was actually getting closer because I was so far away. Um, and this is kind of similar to the uh, area that you'll find uh, beyond um, beyond Sovngarde. You'll just see these giant structures. The game will tend to crash if you go too far in these directions. But I guess just this tower was that big that I was able to see it uh, all the way across the, the sea. And you can kind of see that maybe there's an end to the soundless uh, there might be a shore way, way off in various other directions. But this is just one of those gigantic structures. I guess I could... I could turn off clipping and, uh, and fly up and see what's up at the top there. Might actually be worth doing. It might be interesting. And there's a reasonable chance that the game's going to crash anyhow, so... Up we go. And yeah, you'll, you'll see, I did have some TCL in my history before. Uh, it wasn't strictly necessary, but I got stuck a few times when, ma when making, my, uh, making my, uh, my way down the mountain. And I thought it would be kind of useful to, uh, to avoid needing to load the game again. Okay, so is there anything up here? No, it's just a particularly high up area of, of land here. So, let's head back down. But yeah, you, you should be able to make your way down uh, down from the cliffs uh, without too much difficulty. 
see, am I, I want to be about the right level above the water where, yeah, I guess it's kind of hard to tell, but hopefully I got this right. Yeah, good. But yeah, you should be able to make your way down. Yeah, that's weird. I'm a little bit worried that the game will, will crash uh, soon because typically when I got near these giant structures before, Things got kind of dicey. Although it just might be the stress of trying to render something like that. But yeah, it's, it's unusual to, to see... Oh, looks like it did generate the dragon. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's a mountain over there or if it's just fog that's in the shape of mountains. Um, I'm guessing that what the game is doing is it's loading some of the stuff that you would need to see scenery f from far away. But of course it's not loading the details. You'll get some of this if you somehow manage to, uh, to jump over one of the walls uh, of one of the walled cities. You'll find yourself in a strange, really low resolution version of the outer world. Or if you manage to, uh, to jump over it the other way, you'll find yourself in a version of the city that doesn't have any of the uh, any of the characters in there, and doesn't have really any of the stores. But you should be able to to walk your way into the city if you're careful by walking up to one of the doors, which will still be there, and activating them. Hmm, interesting. And there is my dragon. I guess I'm going to keep on running this way. I, I could try and fight the dragon. Oh, actually, I wonder what would happen. Well, if I can get the dragon to come down, although I'm not sure if there's enough land. Hmm. Might need to hit the dragon to get it into uh, solidly into combat. I'm not sure if it's actually noticed me, or it might be in a mode where it's too glitchy to really work, but. Almost. Yeah, this is might be that the dragon uh, AI is too confused to do its normal thing when there isn't a well-defined ground. But I would, uh, because this is a dragon, uh, a this is a character from, uh, who's gone through the Dragonborn questline. Um, I will get the ability to ride the dragon if I can manage to get it to stay still enough to tame it. Uh, let's see, where am I? Okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure if there's... I just need to find some solid ground somewhere. And hopefully the dragon is going to come along. Wait, where'd it go? No. Dragon doesn't seem to want to stray that far. Well, maybe it will.
Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do a little bit better by heading up to greet the dragon. Let's see. Okay, now we're definitely in combat. I think, oh! Except the dragon seems to have gotten kind of confused. Whoa! Anyhow, uh, bend well. See what the dragon does with that. Maybe the dragons in general aren't accustomed to it. To fighting at uh, at the same height as as characters. Anyhow, I'm not sure what would happen if I manage if I manage to hit the dragon with Bendwell, but I probably won't get the shot. Uh, won't be able to do so because the dragon is probably confused by not having having anything to land on. So I'm just going to continue on my way and see what happens. If the dragon decides to follow me, great. Particularly if I manage to find some land to stand on. Because I would love to try riding the dragon over this, but so far I'm not seeing a lot. I might be chasing a mirage here. Let's see. I'm hoping that that isn't the edge of the world that I'm, uh, I'm seeing. Yeah, the dragon did not follow me. Oh well. Let's keep on moving. Yeah, so definitely unlike unlike the endless uh, seemingly generated plains and valleys and things like that of, uh, of Sovngarde, this really seems like an unpleasant uh, place to spend eternity. So this is another character that I made to play through Skyrim after my last uh, mini, le uh, mini Let's Play for Dragonborn and the uh, aborted attempt to go through the Assassin's Quest that I gave up on because, the, uh, because we uh, hit a game bug. And this is another character that's based around uh, just punching. And so uh, she's wearing heavy armor and has gauntlets and rings that increase uh, unarmed damage. And so I alternate between punches and uh, use of a shield. How, am I, how far am I going here? Oh, so it looks like I'm actually getting near the uh, edge of the world again. So 
So I guess this really is a, uh, a version of the Skyrim map. Or maybe it's just a blank map that happens to have some kind of a hard-coded Skyrim edge content that, uh, that's loaded around it. It is kind of uh, bizarre. Ooh. <laughs> to be uh, wandering around nowhere like this, but... And I kind of wonder what's going on in the game right now. Like, where exactly it thinks uh, I am. Or maybe just all of the, uh, all of the maps of the game Maybe, uh, maybe the game engine really will just fill in, uh, fill in the whole ov uh, overworld map. Uh, over, uh, over, overworld maps worth of content um, for them, but uh, they only have to define the uh, the bits that are being used by that map. Anyhow. The reason I sound so tired is that I've been up for, well, it's, it's kind of uh, very late in the evening or early in the morning right now. And I wasn't actually intending to rec uh, be recording a video. But I thought this was interesting enough to be uh, worth seeing. And I imagine we're probably getting near the end of the map. Yeah, this is probably near where Castle Volokar would be. Maybe I'm a, a, a ways west of that. So I'm imagining it probably won't be too long before the game glitches out. And I'm not sure if that means that we're going to see a crash, or the edge of the world, and something for me to fall off of. Or, uh... Or one of those he cannot go this way messages. Yeah, I suppose it's possible that nothing will happen at all, but I consider that kind of unlikely. At least given how the game behaved, um, in um in Southern Guard. Let's take a look around. Yep. I guess we can kind of distantly see the tower that I came from. Maybe yeah, a little bit of additional land over there. Uh, that's probably just the edge of the world map that it had to generate to be visible from um, from school often. Anyhow, uh, punch-based characters, it is uh, a bizarre way, uh, it's a bizarre build. And it really doesn't work too well unless you have one of the, the mods that lets you do two rings. But if you do that, then it, uh, it works reasonably. You're going to be kind of underpowered near the end of the game. But even still it's it's fun and provided that you have good enough heavy armor so that you can withstand enough blows you should be able to beat most monsters um, just by being patient and by having enough uh, support spells to uh, survive having good followers uh, can be helpful too like in this game I went with the Priest of Mara um, from uh, I don't remember the name of that uh, city that the the northern city 
uh, the one where uh, there's a priest of Mar uh, Mara who's a previous pri uh, uh, priest of Vermina. And you have to help him clear out a temple. And I decided that he would make a good follower just because he has uh, he has more commentary than most followers do. So I had him, and then later on, once I started doing the um, once I started doing the content for uh, Dragonborn, I got a um, a Dwemer, uh one of the uh, Sphere guys, as uh, as a pet type follower. And the pair of them were pretty helpful. But yeah, I... I so the way that I played, I, I do allow myself to do what little damage you do by hitting someone with the shield. Otherwise, all the direct damage would be by my use of fists. And by direct damage, I mean the direct damage my character does. I. Plus, I don't do any uh, summoning, but my uh, my companions, of course, can do whatever they do. And I make uh, reasonable uh, use of healing spells, and uh, yeah, I've I've done the last sneaking and smithing and enchanting. It worked out pretty well. Let's see. Okay. I have never seen the map look like that before. And I'm kind of intrigued. Since I didn't think the map could scroll up this far. But apparently it can. So again, I, I do expect a crash uh, sometime soon. So I don't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if my commentary just cuts off at some point when the game crashes, but maybe it won't. Probably will. Yeah, my overall thoughts on the, on the Dragonborn content, uh, after having played through a second time much more luxuriously with this character, it really works pretty well. I, I love how Apocrypha looks. It's a fun place to play. Um, yeah, really nothing interesting around. It would be an interesting place to live in, uh, to live provided they didn't have those kinds of monsters uh, living in it. And I I thought it was interesting that the uh, that books were so uh, so common a drop there. I picked up a number of, uh, of books that uh, I had never seen before in any of my runs. And I don't think that they're actually exclusive to uh, to Apocrypha. I believe it's just that um, there are so many books in the game. And they added a, a number of additional books in Dragonborn that, unless you're really paying attention and collecting the books, you'll, uh, you'll just miss out on a lot of them. Which is a pity. They went through a lot of trouble to write content for the game, even if the books tend to be only like maybe four or five pages long at most. And I, I'm not sure what percentage of people actually go through and read all the books. I mean, you can do it if you want, and there's a lot of cool stuff, but I'm just guessing that it uh, all that content is lost on most people. But I'm coming to enjoy the content more, particularly as I've played through most of the game by now.
Yes, I, I changed to moving closer to straight north just now because I'm operating under the theory that the, that the game is much more flexible on a, on a north-south basis than it is on an east-west. And that because the map could bend north or south, this might crash. Uh, not quite. So it is interesting that it pulls back to, uh, to the level where you're seeing like a complete cloud layer there. But yeah, th that willingness to bend, I think it really only works on a north-south basis, and I'm worried that if I head too far west, I'm going to get an er uh, earlier crash. It's not like things look all that different from any direction, and I guess I can still see that edge. Maybe that's the normal edge of the world map over there. And there's nothing corresponding on the west, but, well, it does look like there's more. We might be closer to some kind of, well, let's head actually closer to further west. This This probably will speed up the crashing of the game, but... I'm just curious if there's anything out here, or if the game really is just endless planes, uh, plus that dragon that somehow accidentally managed to make it in there. Really would have been cool to have uh, been able to ride a dragon over this since they're a lot faster, but it's kind of hard to uh, arrange. What's going on now? Oh, I guess maybe the game is just trying so hard to put us this far north that it's not really going to pay attention to the left-right when it comes to showing that map, but... Yeah, maybe there, there really might not be anything left over here. This doesn't look uh, significantly different fr uh, than it did for the last uh, while. Sometimes it does look like we're getting near the end of the sea, but then we see more sea just uh, scooting in, like just there in front of us. So. Although there is a kind of a growing gap in between what looks like the outlines of land and uh, the water. So I'm not sure if that's meant to be uh, mountains in the background or cloud cover or something uh, else. I mean. I guess part of the point of having this this kind of uh, stuff is that it hints at, at details that uh, are never filled in for the version of the map that's loaded uh, at the time. So it's, it's designed to be vague, but even still. I guess I'll give it another five minutes, and then if we don't seem to be getting anywhere by then, I'll uh, on the video. Feels almost like uh, having a game genie again uh, with the NES 8.
kind of hoping that there would be at least an edge or something. And it is kind of amusing to have run all the way across uh, Tamriel, or at least the equivalent length. It's not something you do all that quickly, although it helps that all there is is this ankle deep water out here. Well, you know, I guess I do have. sure if this is faster or not, but this has me at least running on top of the water. Although it seems to be making the uh, movement a lot more jerky. Well, in any case, uh, yeah, this this is much less interesting than than making your way out of the sandbox uh, uh, in um, uh, Sol uh, or not Solstein in uh, Sovngarde. Like you don't have the neat canals. And actually, the, uh, the slipping out from the mountains was also a lot more boring. Apart from getting stuck, but you can easily get stuck in either. Yeah, so I'm just not seeing anything whatsoever. I'm kind of impressed that it hasn't crashed yet. And nothing over there. Here, nothing over here. I think there there were a few uh, few few really old video games where if uh, where you would get um, things kind of like this happening if you did something really unexpected and the programmer hadn't uh, covered it. Like there were uh, Zelda Three, which was for the SNES, had uh, the way uh, some ways to slip outside the game map using the uh, the magic mirror item. I think you could uh, manage to uh, to switch in between the light world and the dark world um, in ways that would get, get you stuck inside of an object and then when the game would try and push you out of the object it would actually uh, push you into an area where you really shouldn't have been uh, ever allowed to go uh, to begin with. And uh, w once that happened, you could go and explore, and you'd end up with all this kind of uh, randomly generated... Generated is the wrong word, but you'd end up with all of this random garbage content. Actually, Zelda 2 had that, too. If you managed somehow... Like, if you cast the jump spell and jump uh, off the top of uh, of the screen and then cast the fairy spell when you were already off the top then hitting left or right would uh, trigger a uh, a fairly rarely used falling animation 
It was normally, uh, it was used in a few areas to indicate that you were falling from uh, one map to another. Uh, but because there wasn't an area that was designed to be, that or that was designed to catch you, you'd end up in this uh, in this kind of yeah. You, you'd end up landing in a uh, random garbage level, which typically looked like a town, but uh, but uh, a lot of the people walking around there would just uh, spew out gibberish, or they would spew out one of the existing phrases from the game. And uh, oftentimes, when you would leave the town, you would end up stuck in the middle of uh, of the ocean, and you wouldn't be able to move, or the game would just crash. But in any case, yeah, I'm gonna uh, cut this off here. Um, it's been uh, it's been interesting exploring the outer limits of uh, the Skyrim uh, world. Here and let's see what this looks like. Oh, a little bit of a glitch or glitchy look there when it was trying to uh, trying to load that. I wonder if if doing this more will get me up into here or something like that. Anyhow, uh, I am gonna sign back off now, and I'm probably not gonna do any more Skyrim uh, Let's Play content. Um, uh, unless and until another DLC comes out. And even then, uh, uh, I'm not sure I... But I might try and do some more content on philosophy topics or, uh, or some other stuff. So, uh, take care.